So good morning, everyone. Today, uh, we discover the question, how can I measure a room exactly? And how can I um, get a contour of a wall to work with for planning of installation and so on? Um, we see here a laser scanning project with several scans. It's a lot of scans because we, we like to have a very accurate uh, surface of this room. So that's project was made with an RTC 360 and uh, the data we are processed by a pinpoint software and now we are on pinpoint model to analyze the data. So what we try to do here is uh, let's pick one wall like this one here and uh, first step is to extract the, the lines of this wall to have the, the outside contours. So first we hide the scan position. You, you can also push the S button on your keyboard and then we will activate the tool at surface and then we catch this wall here and we fix it so we can hold this wall in the background and then we just need uh, to click all these edges so if i hit if i click these two walls i will get the line here so very easily walk around here to get all these corners and then you can close the polygon and here's our first result. To look to the result, we have the surface projection function. So select this function and then select the polyline and then click on average. So we look directly through it. And here we have our first line. Next step would be to save it if you want but we won't do this because we like to do a few more things here next question or next issue we have here is our door frame so let's cut off the door to get deeper into the scene you can make a right double click on every or on each point in your scene and then the focus will jump to this position so you can better look around to to see the right surfaces of this door frame Let's activate the add surface function again, and then snap to the to the main wall and uh, fix it, hold it, and then click around the surfaces of the door. So we get the right contour and then just close the polygon while clicking on the green icon here. So now we got our door frame. Uh, now let's zoom out. You can use the mouse wheel or you can hold down the shift key and pushing the right mouse button and move your mouse forward and backward. So this is the global zoom function instead of having the local zoom function, what is the mouse wheel. Let's intersect these two surfaces now. So we select the main contour. This is our wall here. And then we select the second contour, what is the door. So now it's intersected already. And if we look to our contour again, so activate surface projection, select the polygon we like to see. And here we go again. Let's go back to our scene. And now we uh, need to talk about the sockets or power outlets and the door frame because these elements are not equal to our main layer or main wall so this that this might be a problem for installation so what we can do is we can use the um, visualize arrow function in pinpoint so select this polygon adjust the settings we will put here 0 0.01 so one centimeter that this is what we like to see or better this is what we expecting from the sockets and from the door frame and then just push compute to see the deviation. You can see directly we have uh, a bigger deviation here in the upper corner and in the in the right button area. And you can see in the green area, the point cloud fits very well to the selected plane. And then the yellow areas and the red areas here from the door frame and from the uh, socket are of course higher than our main plane. So, you would be able now to save this view as an OBJ file directly, 
or um, you have another option to go to file and export and then 3D objects. And there is also additional option like STL and uh, DXF and so on. But in many cases, uh, our users are using 2D CAD software for, for their machines especially. But um, so let's do a different workflow. So what we can do is we can add 3D points here. And 3D points means we're adding points what are belong to this selected plane. So let's click a point here on the left upper corner to see how much it is under our selected plane. And then let's pick some some points on the on the sockets and on the door frame. So we activate the add point function and you see the pinpoint software is catching these sketching or selecting these planes, but we don't want this plane now. We want the real 3D points from the point cloud. So we hold down the control button and you see this red icon now or this red uh, selected point. And now you click your points on the wall you like to see. So after this, uh, you can name them by giving, him, giving each point a label. So we call it wall points, one point in German now. And then we go again to our at point function and now we we place some points on our socket here and we make it on the left and on the right so we have an understanding in our in our cat software later what it was and then we do the same here on the on the left side and i i would do also two points here just for and then we call it steckdosen so sockets or power outlet, however you call it um, in your business and whatever it is in your business could be also some other stuff. And then we have this door frame. So I'm adding four main points for the door frame here so that we have also this. And once again, we name it with a label, what we have, what we, what gives us a better understanding in our CAD software. To explain it, the label will be a cat layer later on in the software, in your cat software. So you can turn it on and turn it off so it's easier to, to clean off, to clean your, your space or your, your working environment. And then finally, let's take a look to the skirting board. Uh, this is also, of course, higher than our selected plane. And this is our these are our last points for, for demonstration purpose here. And then we name it um, Sockel or a Skirting Board in English probably. So and now if we go back to our, to our polyline, uh, of course we don't see the points now. So we have to activate these labels and then it shows you directly the labels, the points, and also the deviation to the to the main plane. So we see here in the middle, it's zero, and then we have plus three millimeters, and we have minus five millimeter. Is this minus? Yeah, it's five here. You see the minus. So it's 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 exactly what we expected. And then let's take a look to the door frame, and we see oh we have eighteen millimeters over our main plane, and fifteen millimeters. So that's also what we expected. So now we can save this as a simple DXF file. You can also uh, go under show more option to save it in millimeters if you if you like to. But just let's name it one fläche for now and just save it in our whatever working directory. And that's it. Now Here's the more option again with the millimeters I forget to show. Anyway, we leave it in meter for now. That's fine. So we have our first DXF file. And let's open in CAT software now. I'm using BricksCAT here for, for presentation and just open a 2D drawing because we, we're looking to 2D now. We don't like to model 3D at the moment. And just open the one flash in the file 
go to our directory uh download here we go and here's our file open it and it's a little bit here because we didn't orientate it or we didn't set the coordinate system but you see we have our polyline and we have also our points what are representing the height uh, or the deviation to our main selected plane so very easy to handle very easy to work with so if you like the tutorial and uh, please give us a thumb up or as you know we need this uh, to to get a little bit support from you guys um, and that's it for today thank you so much for the for your time and see you next time Oh, sorry. So I once again uh, I missed I missed one main feature uh, in the new version. We have an auto photo function. So what you can do is you can define a plane, or you can define two two borders and project these points to one plane to have them projected to one plane. I mean, if you are new, then it's probably a new topic. If you uh, use this laser scanning, it's very simple. So go to point projection, pick your main plane again, and then because the projection needs a little bit needs a thickness for this projection so you need to define a border a plane before and after your projection plane and in our case i will just type in uh, the plane offset with 0 0.03 centimeters from minus to plus three centimeters so i type in minus 0 0.3 enter and then return button and then typing 0 0.03 plus and again return button and then i can uh, adjust uh, the the quality of the image here was was the pixel i just use the default setting and starting the compute computation and receiving here a 2d view to the scene and this view shows very clear and the the sockets and i also see a little bit shining these points of what i made before but let's just save this here to our other drawing we made and we'll just go here and then uh, name it yeah we, we we just call it one photo so it's image of the wall and then go back to our cat software we just will use the import function just type here import in bricks card and compare these two and you should add a different layer and and, and organize these things uh, quite well but this is not a cat training here it's just to demonstrate how you can work with point cloud and now you see yeah wow it's coming in in the same position of course and we can see these little uh, things here what what might hurt for our planning so this is uh, i think it's very uh, useful as well to use it so um, let's see uh, what you think um, and that's it so give us a comment thanks thanks again for your time and um, have a great day bye bye